like I say, um, Richard Nixon was lying about everything, and so was a lot of the others. But if you notice, there's actually a lot of commemorations. Like my lead paint, my lead white paint commemorated um, commemorated uh, um, a lot of things. Uh, it commemorated my lead mines of of Egypt, or something. I had some lead mines somewhere, or lead mining going on. <clears throat> and um, and I also had mercury mines, of course, too, all the way from from Aztec or whatever. I had this big old, I had a whole bunch of big old things with with, with a bunch of mercury in them, and that's how they actually got the reactor. They built the reactor, and I also had like you know the American military went out, or American, you know, construction grew. Originally, a long time ago, even America military was basically just a construction crew. That's all they were, you know, just like Korea, just like all the others. You know, all my the military was basically just a construction crew. They didn't really have weapons, a couple, in case a bear attacked, but that was about it. They were just construction, and they just built stuff like, um, like we were building the um, the the mercury nuclear reactors, and that was almost like a commemoration of my mercury mining that I used to do with Aztecs. And or used to have it during the Aztec times, um, and I had all the I have all these commemorations all over the place. Like 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 when you look at the at the history and everything of Lucifer White Star Line, you notice that there's commemorations everywhere, like jewelry made from the mines that that, that the mining things where the where, where they have so it's, so like there was the Panama necklace, the Panama gem and jewelry necklace. There was these other jewelry ge necklaces that came from these other mines where. I had taken the, the titanium and put stones in them, put some of the stones in them, or cut some of my stones down to be in these necklaces that were from like the Panama um, uh, mining mining company or whatever. Um, and the Panama mining company was a huge company by just by itself, and that was really Lucifer White Star Lines, just under called the Panama Mining Company or whatever, because it was just a a mining company. I mean, I have I have worldwide mining. I have planetary mining. I had my I have mining on on Mars. I have mining on a couple thousand other planets that I just don't go to anymore. Like there are four hundred other planets that were also getting ready for me to come visit them, and there are probably I mean there are eighty galaxies that knew of my presence and knew of my existence and wanted me to come visit them. Anyway. And a couple of those plants were like, well, if he's not going to come visit us, then we're going to go visit him. So he came here. Like I said, there are other life form types and all kinds of other stuff that were like, well, since he's not going to come visit us, we're going to have to go visit him. So they came to find me wherever I was. And that's how it is. So, and there's a lot of commemorations, like commemorating gold, commemorating this, commemorating that, commemorating the particles. And everything else so i mean it gets really complicated and and rodney and and uh, i mean rodney and rick bush and and uh, nixon and a bunch of other people were just like well if he doesn't know who we are then, then then how can he come find us and it's like well i'm really rich and i have a lot of life forms after, with me so and when you start thinking about planets and galaxies and everything else like that it's like well there's 800 galaxies that owe their existence to me and um a few life forms that were a problem. So, anyway, you know, I mean, they can rationalize that and deal with that all they want. Um, you know, and I invented contracts. A contract is a contract. You know, and it has terms and conditions just like any other. So, anyway, I let a lot of and I let a lot. I was very generous too. A lot, a lot of people were like, "Well, we can't do that. We're we're not going to be able to do this." And I was like, "Well, what if I give you more money?" You know, and. Um, and there's a lot of things like that where where I was where I was I gave people more metal or more money you know uh, metal money equals metal basically I mean some people were like well we can't build a train the trains you need or the rail system you need for for this amount of metal we need more so I'm like okay well we'll get more um, you know when you're really rich and really wealthy up to my level like it's like eh, no problem even a planet it's like I need an, I need another planet okay no problem uh, like I say I mortgaged Germany against against Panama. And that was one of the things the Republicans just wanted to walk in there with guns and just act like they own Panama. Just because they had guns. And Germany Germany had mortgage and also was getting steel from Panama. So Germany had a big investment into into Panama. A lot of researchers, a lot of research, a lot of this, a lot of that. You know, I mean, there are a lot of Germans who went to Panama to work, I believe. 
I had a lot of different people like, 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 like Panama was a huge, huge project. I was mining like a whole continent basically. So, I mean, it was a massive undertaking and like I had Germany invested into it. Um, I was basically mortgaging Germany uh, against Panama saying that it would work. It was going to work. And so, you know, I mean, I mean, I had these huge amounts of people and money going into these things. And, you know, you get into like the night, uh, like as soon as Panama is done, they start realizing how much money and how useful it's going to be. And they start thinking that they can just use guns and take it over. And that's that. And that's not the way it works in the real world. You can't just take a gun and just walk around shooting people until the end until the last person's dead that actually had owned it and then say, oh, he signed it over. It's like, it doesn't really work like that. You can't just like, be like, oh, well, you used to own this car, blam, you're dead. And therefore now I own it. Like, like that doesn't really work. You know, maybe that works on the street corner or I don't know. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I should try that. Maybe I should go, go over to my neighbor's house and shoot him for his car and then drive off. Like That's pretty much what, what the Republicans and the Democrats and Richard Nixon and John McCain were doing. They just figured, oh, well, they'll just shoot whoever owns it or kill off whoever owns it. And it's like, well, I own it. Like a lot of people were, were like saying, well, they're going to kill us because we own this. And it's like... Well, tell them that they that you don't own it. I own it, which I did. I own Panama. I own Germany, and they would have to go talk go go through me if they wanted to take it over because it's like um, my name is Lucifer Star, line, the owner of the planet Earth, owner of eight hundred galaxies. So if if they want, you know, I mean, and that's what they did. So it's like, well. You're going to have to kill the creator of 800 galaxies to get it. So, you know, and that's a little bit of an issue. Anyway, because I don't die that easily. You know, I mean, I own 12. They killed off four of my races or four of my lifeform types. And it's like, well, there's a lot more besides that. Anyway. Uh, Nixon and John McCain and a couple other people spent a long time trying to work this out, trying to get around this. So did Rick Bush, so did John McCain, I mean, so did Rodney. A lot of people were like, well, all we gotta do is kill him. And like, at the time, I was still an AI and a life form. Like, there's two of me, actually. There's one that's a computer, an AI and creator, and then there's me. Technically, I went from that to that, but... I think I might have died as that and became this. I don't know. It gets all confusing when you get into a hundred trillion years since. Like I said, you have to be at a hundred trillion years old to really understand what's going on.